hi everyone welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to build an application and that application is going to connect to vault and read the secrets that are stored in the vault this application will be a node.js app and we will be going to use app role as authentication method and when we are using app role as authentication method we need the role id and the secret id in order to access vault so let's see how we can achieve this so first i'll go to my terminal and let's start the vault from here so I'm starting the vault in the dev mode and the vault is running now and let me open one more terminal here and uh, I'll just set up some of the environment variable that are needed and I also export the token vault token. Okay now we have a uh, configured our vault address and the vault token and now let's go ahead and see what we have to do so the next step is we have to enable the auth method and we can enable the auth method from the GUI as well like if we go to localhost colon 8200 and from there we can enable the auth method which is app role or we can just simply run this command so let's try to do it from the UI first so if I go to browser and if I just open localhost 8200 and it will ask us for the token let's give the token so this is the token and now to enable app role as a auth method first we have to go to access and all the steps are given here like first you have to go to access and then click on enable new method so if i click on this enable new method from here you can choose app role so let's go ahead and click on next and enable app method so now this is enabled and the same thing we can do from the command line as well. So I'll delete this and I'll do it from the command line. It's deleted now and let's execute this command. So this command is going to create uh, the app role and it says that the app role auth method is enabled. Let's go ahead and see it from here as well. So if I go to access and here we can see that this particular app role auth method is available here. Now let's go ahead and create a policy and the name of the policy is going to be app policy. Again, you can create it from the GUI as well, like from the browser as well. But in this case, I'm going to use the command line. So I'll just copy this command and let's execute it. So the policy is also created and the name of the policy is app policy. And if you see the policy here, so what we are doing here is, so if you have seen the last video, then you will be able to understand that what this policy is all about. So in this policy, we are just uh, for this particular path, which is secret slash application. We are giving the read and the update uh, as a capability. And uh, for the same path, we are just giving read as a capability. So if you have just seen the last video, you will be able to understand like what these policies are and how you can use them. Okay, so the next step is now once we have the policies, now we can create a role and role secret. So let's go ahead and run this command. And before actually running up this command, let's try to understand what actually we are doing. So if you see this command, we are just writing up a role and that this is the path and this path needs to be exactly same. And finally, you have to give your role name. So in this case, I'm giving the role name as node.js hyphen app and you can give any name as per your requirement. Then I'm also giving some of the other parameter like the TTL parameter and this basically spe specify like for how long your secret will be valid then how how many times you can use your token. So these are those properties and finally I'm just attaching a token policy and this is the same policy that we created in the previous command. The uh, policy name was app policy and same policy we are attaching up here as well. Let's go ahead and execute this command. Okay, so we can see that this particular uh, role is created and now we can fetch the role ID. So to fetch the role ID, this is the command. We have to just run vault read and then you have to give the path and then let's execute this command. So this is our role ID. We have to just note it somewhere down and let's go ahead and get the secret as well. So this is the secret ID and this is the role ID and we will be using this on our application in order to authenticate with the vault and then fetch the secrets. 
and now let's store a secret as well so i'm just going to use this command which is vault kv put and this is the path where i want to store the secret and then these are the fields which will be available in the vault so let's go ahead and execute this command and the secret is written we can just simply go ahead and in the browser as well and we can verify if the secret is present there or not so if i go to secret in the secret engine let's go to this particular engine which is secret and here we can see that we have a path called application and inside this we can see all the secrets that we just tried to store so now let's build our node.js application so i have already created a node.js project and uh, if you see here this is my node.js project and this has one file index.js this is an empty file and i have one more file env dot uh, env and here we have to give the role id and the secret and let's do one thing uh, let's try to also install one of the package so the package that we require to communicate with the vault is node vault so you can see that dependency here and i have already installed the dependency and after this let's go ahead and put some code in the index.js so if we go here let's first create the instance of the vault so let's create the instance of the vault and here we are giving the api version as v1 and this is the endpoint of vault so since our vault is running locally i have given the vault endpoint as like this and after this we can simply import our role id and the secret id from the env so we have loaded our role id and the secret id from this particular env file and we'll fill the values here so let's fill the values first so if we go here this was the role id let's copy it and put it here and let's also put the secret id so this is the secret id let's put it here now after this since we have the role id and the secret id present now we can just write a function which is vault auth login and using that particular function we will be able to authenticate with the vault so this is the function that we have created which is vault auth login and this function expects the role id and the secret id and then here we are calling this particular function which is app role login and we are passing both role id and the secret and once we did this app login then we will get a token and then we are passing the token to the vault instance so here you can see that we are setting up the token vault token that we got from the previous step which was this particular step so now let's create one more function and i'll call this function as a main function and in this particular function we will be just writing up the code to read the secret from the vault so let's first do the vault login and i'm going to call this particular function which is vault auth login and i'm going to pass role id and secret id that i have defined here so after this we can simply go ahead and read the secret from the vault write it here so now we are simply going to uh, read the data from this particular location which is secret and if you have seen the last video then you know the importance of this data field then we have to give the application which is the secret name once we have this particular step then we can simply read the data from this data object and let's do it here and now what we are doing we are just simply uh, reading this particular data and inside this there is one more object called data and that particular object has the key names now let's do a console statement so that we can read all of these uh, properties and let's finally call this main function so now let's try to run this application so here we can see that we got the all that credential that we have stored in the vault you can see that the database name we got which is present in the vault then we also got the username and the password as well and uh, if you are noticing that i ran this command because uh, i am not using any dot uh, env library to load the secrets so that's why i'm reading up the secrets and then i am running this node index.js okay let's do one more thing uh, so if you have seen the steps when we are creating up these when we are defining up the role and here you can see that we define the ttl as 10 minutes so which means that after 10 minutes this particular token or this particular secret is going to get expired so we need a way in order to uh, ensure that we are always connected to the vault and we always have a up-to-date secret id so now what we'll do we'll just wait for 
10 minutes and after that we'll try to run the same command again which is uh, node index.js and we will be able to see that we are unable to read those secrets from the vault because of the expired secret id and we will be seeing like how we can get a new secret id okay so it's been more than 10 minutes now and let's try to execute the program again and uh, here we can see that we got the response as invalid secret id and we are getting this response as invalid secret id because the token that we generated that has a life of 10 minutes so if we go and see the command here so here we can see that the secret id ttl is 10 minutes which means that the life of the token that we were using was having a lifespan of 10 minutes so let's go ahead and generate the secret again and in order to generate a secret we'll have to use the same command again so this is the command that we'll have to use and let's execute it here so now we got a new secret id let me just try to set the secret id in the program itself and now uh, let's try to execute it again so here you can see we got the secret data back from the vault so remember whenever you are setting up the vault uh, using this app role and in that case you will get the role id and the secret id that you will get that will have a specific ttl so ensure that you always have a secret id with a valid ttl so that's all for this lecture and in this particular lecture we saw like how we can create the app role then we create the role id and the secret id and then we also try to read the secret from the vault using the role id and the secret id and we also saw that when the secret id is expired then we have to again generate the secret id and then you can use the application again so this was it for this lecture and i'll see you in the next one